Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, everybody on FIFA is wondering, where is the Twitch Prime Pack? A free pack that's given out every single month in connection with Twitch, aka Amazon, and EA Sports. Usually it comes out towards the end of every single month. We were supposed to have a pack for May, and it has not dropped yet. And a lot of people are wondering where it is, because of course, with League One Tots, and two other leagues of the team of the season and packs right now, People want that pack, especially since it's free and they expect it every month. So I want to talk about that a little bit because there's some really weird things going on with how those in-game content rewards are listed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain what the Twitch Prime Pack even is here in a second. I also want to take a look at the market because yesterday EA Sports released a guaranteed League One Tots SBC that was way cheaper than any of us expected. Only an 86 rated squad, but the pack weight kind of showed why they maybe did that, right? Nobody was packing these insane cards. I got really lucky, okay? So I'm, you know, an exception to the rule, I guess. But you've got these higher tier Tots cards from League One, like Neymar, Chameni, Marquinhos, uh, Paqueta that I just looked at. A lot of these cards are going up in price big time because people are just going out and they're buying teams because they want league one cards in their teams and they didn't pack them so they're going out and buying them we're going to take a look at all of that and what to expect today on thursday in fifa 22 in this video today so if you're liking the videos on the channel at the moment and they're helping you out hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new let's just take a look right off the bat at where in the world this twitch prime pack is and talk about what this pack is in general if you don't know about it because this has been a question that i've been getting a lot for the past couple of days now this is something that i don't usually pay attention to that much but it's a nice little free thing here with fifa if you have amazon prime amazon owns twitch right twitch is the website that i stream on live every single day right so on Twitch, there's a deal that if you have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime. You sign into your Twitch account with your Amazon and you get these free packs. You can see here they're listed on this little schedule. This website is still up and running. It's still a website that's out there uh, with showing this FIFA content and it shows you that they're giving out these packs. They've been giving them out since the start of the year. If, if I scroll down the list, you can see that I've claimed pack one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. But you can see here, that the pack eight is available soon, which this said May before. This is the Twitch Prime pack for May, which probably should have been dropped either last Monday or the Monday before that, because usually this drops towards the end of the month on a Monday or a Tuesday. But since we're past that time period, everybody right now is very confused as to where this pack is. And it's very, very confusing. And a lot of people don't know what's going on. So uh, I'm here to just say that I'm realizing this. I understand why this is a big deal because it's actually a pretty solid pack. Like I, I don't remember the pack code for when this was added, but usually this does these, um, prime gaming packs usually give out like two player picks that are like one of five or one of four 82 plus, And it's like seven gold rare players. They give you a couple loans. They give you some nice consumables. So it's a decent pack, especially since it's free. Um, and everybody's wanting to know where it is. Now, here's the concerning part. When you go on the actual Prime Gaming page to look at all the other games that you get content for, if you search FIFA, there's nothing that shows up. And usually, it would pull up this stuff right here if you search there on the page, but right now, it doesn't. So that's kind of the concerning thing right now. EA has not tweeted about this. EA FIFA Direct has not tweeted about this. We have no information except we don't know where it is and we're expecting it. So I don't know if they're going to end up dropping it later on and dropping both of them in June. I'm just kind of waiting. We, that's all we can do right now is just wait and see where it is. But I wanted to talk about it today and acknowledge it because I know a lot of you guys are like, Nate, where in the world is this pack? And in all honesty, I don't know. It should be out. And I guess we just blame EA like we do for a lot of things here, right? Because uh, it should be out and everything like this usually works according to schedule. They always drop the packs towards the end of each of these months. We haven't had any issues, but now we do. So again, don't know what's going on here. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens, but it sucks because we expected a nice pack. And especially with League One Tots going away, uh, it would have been nice to get this pack during League One Tots. But as of right now, it seems like that might not happen. Also cheeky plug, if you have Amazon Prime, that means you get a free subscription to a Twitch channel every single month with your Prime sub. If you use it on me, you get benefits, I get benefits, it's a great thing. So twitch.tv slash the foot accountant, cheeky plug down below in the description, check out that link. Uh, so that's my little self promo, I guess. If you haven't watched the Twitch, Twitch live streams, they're a blast. We do packs, talk market, 
all the good stuff like we do on the YouTube videos, but live and you can talk to me in the chat. It's great fun. So make sure you check me out there in the description once again, if you haven't already. Anyways, let's move on to the market and past the Twitch Prime nonsense because there was a lot that happened yesterday with that League One Tots guaranteed pack. First of all, like I mentioned, and a lot of you guys probably saw when the pack was dropped yesterday, uh, oh my goodness, EA Sports, you dropped this pack incredibly cheap. The League One Tots upgrade in 86 squad with a Tots card. I mean, we were talking about 88. We were expecting an 88 or at least an 87 based off of what they did last week with League One, or sorry, with La Liga, and they just made today's SBC so, so cheap. It was almost like unbelievable that they did that. But in, in doing so, it almost seemed like that they wanted and they knew the pack weight was going to be so much lower, and that's why they did it because basically from, we opened like probably 25 to 30, maybe around 20, 20 to 5, of those packs yesterday on stream through share plays and i mean we didn't pack any of the top six cards until i opened mine on my account and i packed paqueta at the very end but we had done 20 to 25 of those we got payette salibas lafonts all of the same cards we've been packing this week through upgrade packs we didn't get a single of the top six cards and that's why you just saw all of these top tier cards rise up because literally nobody was packing those and it's almost like ea knew that they were dropping the sbc at a lower price because the pack weight they knew was not going to give out those higher tier cards so they were just making it like cheaper for everybody i guess i don't know but because of that you had a lot of 86s and 87s but specifically 86s that went up further on the market in price instead of some of your higher tier stuff because that sbc was a bit lower rated if we take a look at the index 86 you see um, a pretty solid spike here when content happened yesterday. Let me look at the index 85. And sometimes these indexes don't, you know, act correctly on Flipin. It doesn't look right, which these don't look right to me right now because 86s had some very, very big fluctuations in price. I mean, I was selling some 86s for like high teens. If I go all, let me search in here and, and look through a few of these cards because um, I was definitely getting some big time prices on some of these 86 cards that I had bought for like, you know, six to 7,000 coins. Yeah, I think I bought a Laporte and I sold them at like 14K, Fabinho, Cancelo, Busquets. I was selling Mares at 13,000 coins and I bought this dude at like 7K on the weekend, right? On the weekend, he was like 7K and he went up to like 13, 14K. Huge, huge boost up in price. So if you did buy fodder, you were loving it, right? You see here, he was bang, all the way up at 13, 14,000 coins. Some cards went up more than others, but that was your perfect sell time for fodder on basically just about all of fodder yesterday. Just about all of your fodder yesterday, that was kind of the perfect sell time. So if you sold then, GG's. There still might be a little bit of demand today on Thursday because we're still going to have that um, the re-up the refresh, if you will, of the 85 plus times three pack. This one is slated to get re-released today on Thursday. So that is another one that people will probably go out and do to try to pack. Last chance packing a TOTS card from like an upgrade pack like this. So there might be a little bit more, you know, rise on 83s, 84s, 85s today after content. You could probably sell those again today if you wanted to. So that's there. But uh, that was the biggest piece of content yesterday. Of course, everybody wanted to go out and do that, but it also felt kind of dead because the pack weight was not very good at all. Now, also a part of yesterday, we had the Amine Guri SBC that, of course, we were all looking forward to after uh, seeing the leaked uh, version on the menus. And I did this SBC yesterday, and so did a lot of other people because EA gave him that five-star skill move boost. I've been using him. I know he hasn't done too much, but I've been using him in the uh, first goal cup friendly. And it's a nice card, right? Five-star skills, five foot eleven, and it's like a hundred thousand coins to do with finesse shot, flare trade, outside the foot shot. I feel like a lot of people were in need of a card like this for their teams, right? And this, that I wanted to talk about this because that card impacted the market a lot yesterday left mids went down a lot specifically your left mids that were in league one neymar neymar's informs uh ginola bamba those are just some of the cards that went down a lot yesterday they were panic sold this neymar is 420,000 coins he was all the way down at 370 to 380 i did buy some there he bounced back up to about 450 i'm hoping that he bounces up further a little bit this weekend if possible so i bought a few of those there just off the panic sell but you know guys like ginola Ginola was like 100, 105,000 coins, I believe. And I believe now he's like 70K 
or 75,000 coins after all the panic selling from yesterday as people needed a French left mid, especially with the five-star skills and that SBC being so cheap. So many people just went out and did this SBC yesterday because it filled a need as there wasn't, there's not really an insane left mid besides, I mean, you have Neymar, but other than that, a cheaper, more usable for most people in the game, left mid player in the League One Tot squad. I mean, you've got Neymar and then Terrier, but when I mean five-star skills, you get some hype with that and a cheap SBC like this, uh, this guy gets the hype. So, you know, I think that's why a lot of those cards were impacted yesterday because people just love a card like this and it has five-star skills. So that was a big W for most people going out and wanting to do that. Now, with that being said, um, how are these cards going to react today? Like we mentioned, those left mids went down and a lot of the top tier of the, of the cards went up. I bought a bunch of Nuno Menj. Um, and I bought a Chowmany at like 689. He's starting to go up, but I bought a bunch of Nuno Menj when I saw the Guri came out and I knew that there were going to be a decent amount of people packing Nuno Menj from the guaranteed pack yesterday. But also this Nuno Menj card is the most used TOTS item in the League One TOTS team. If you look on Footbin, you can kind of sort by like number of games played, of course, and Nuno Menj has like 80,000 games played compared to the rest of the TOTS cards having like 50,000 or so. Even for guys like Lafon, who you guys would think would be packed so much, or Genduzi, or Fofana, or Payet, who would be super duper duper usable. Um, yes, of course, this guy is still getting packed a lot. There's going to be some lightning rounds today, but I got some Noon Menge at like 100, 105,000 coins. I thought that price was too cheap because with the way that the Serie A Tots team looks and with the way that it looks upcoming, I thought these cards were cheap enough where, yes, he could be 120K now. You know, it's 10K profit per card. But I think I'm going to hold on to these for the next couple of days because with the leaked Serie A team that we have, we have the full leaked team. I don't see a cheap left back coming out in this team. We have a really expensive Teo Hernandez, but this card with PSG links and 99 pace is just going to be a guy that so many people want to use in this game because of the links that he has. Now, speaking of Serie A team of the season, it's coming tomorrow in the game. We do have the full team with all of the predicted and some expected stats for these cards. This is the full side that we should see in packs tomorrow. And again, as I look in this team, yes, there's some nice cards. Teo Hernandez, Tonali, Dybala, Rafael Leao, Brozovic looks really cracked, Koulibaly, Quadrado. There are some nice cards in here. But again, I'm going to maintain my uh, feelings and my thoughts from what I talked about in yesterday's video with seeing a lot of these cards for the first time. I think this team is going to be pretty cheap. Um, at least after a few days in packs, they might be expensive first day. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. But I just think the hype level for this, for most people in the game, not everybody, if you're a Serie A fan, of course, you're excited. But for most people, they just had an insane week of League One Tots, opening upgrade packs, getting a lot of cards that they are putting together for their teams. And like I mentioned, it seems like people are going out and buying teams. You've got cards like our Jelson Martins card, that is finally rising now. He's up at 500,000 coins after being so low uh, throughout the rest of the week. He's been slowly rising. He's going past the investing and he's, he's up to 500K. People are just going out and they're building teams, right? And I think that this team doesn't look hype enough to make people want to sell cards to go and switch up their teams to use any of these brand new items. That's how I feel with this team for the most part. Um, now, the only thing we don't know about is what our SBC is going to be on Friday. We do have a Pellegrini objective that is leaked. This was dropped yesterday um, as a leak. That looks like a solid card. I think it's going to be one that most people would maybe do. I bet they'll put a token in it instead of objectives for foot swaps. Um, but that doesn't look that incredibly hyped to me, if I'm being honest. And then, of course, Cassie is our other SBC. But usually Fridays mean a flashback. So we don't have a flashback SBC leaked yet to come along with this side. Now, that could change a lot of things if they do a Zlatan or if they do a Ribéry or if they do an Insigne. You know, there's a lot of opportunities for either a flashback or even like an end of an era type card um, for Serie A with some of the players that are moving on or uh, just hype FIFA players that could get an item that EA could try to spice up this team and put a hype SBC out for. You know, we're looking forward to maybe a leak of that today. If it happens, maybe it won't. We'll have to see. So that's just kind of all the things we're looking at right now with the Serie A team of the season. I mean, there are some great cards in here, and it is going to be fun tomorrow on Friday. But as it, as it goes right now, people are just so focused 
on these League One cards because they're usable, they're meta, and they fit into people's teams. And that's why you're seeing the market going the way that it is. A lot of other cards in the market, you know, if I look at some of the Super League cards, you know, Balotelli is down like 20 or 30K from where he was yesterday. Your Pro League Tots cards, a lot of them are down. Vanakin and Deketelera are both under 100K. You know, we did have lightning rounds yesterday, so that might affect that a little bit too. Um, you know, let's take a look at Prem really fast. How are these guys getting on? A lot of these guys are just chilling, right? It seems, wow, Cancelo 770. He's down in price. Um, I guess maybe noon Menge because he's so cheap. I, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, it just, it just seems like so many people right now are building teams around these league one tots cards. They're doing the last few upgrade packs and that's kind of what they want to do. And, and the Syria tots leaks and stuff isn't creating enough hype to make people scared or really anticipate too crazy. The, the Syria team of the season coming out tomorrow. So again, let's talk about today a little bit more. Like I mentioned, another 85 plus times three pack probably coming out. It's going to be a bit of a quieter day, right? Thursdays usually are. I would expect to see today lightning rounds still. That's one thing that has been pretty consistent actually um, about the Thursdays. Yesterday we had the lightning rounds. I would expect more of them today. I don't expect that to really impact prices that much on the game if I'm being honest. Oh, they're running lightning rounds right now. 84 plus star trio pack. 29% chance of a blue. Um, I don't expect it to affect prices that much except for those secondary uh, TOTS cards, your Super League and your uh, Belgian League TOTS cards. I think that those are going to be dropping off a little bit more because, of course, people will be worried about more pack supply this weekend. So guys like Balotelli, Undav especially. I think Undav, yes, he does look really cracked, but I think he's still overpriced, and I think he's going to have some panic selling this weekend. Same with Balotelli. As we get closer and closer to Friday, people will remember that, oh my goodness, these guys are in packs till Sunday. They're probably going to get supplied some more through lightning rounds, stuff like that. And being from the secondary TOTS leagues, they're probably going to drop a little bit more. So that's just a little bit of a warning, I guess, if you have um, any of those. So again, if it's a bit of a quiet day today on Thursday, you're, you're probably just going to see some market movements with maybe fodder a little bit. As I mentioned, I think it'd be a great time if you still have any of that those fodder cards to maybe cash some of them out. Uh, because you're still seeing profits, right? Fodder was just so cheap on the weekend that yes, you know, you maybe didn't sell at the absolute best peak time for a lot of these cards since that was yesterday, if you haven't sold it already. But I think that's a good sell time now, if I'm being honest. Um, and then I think a lot of people today are just going to go out and finish doing their last few upgrade packs. They're going to get some rivals rewards today, put some rares in the club. People will go and do some SBCs. But again, it's going to be a quieter day, a, get, a day to kind of get some things done, finish off some objectives. Maybe if you need to get some of these uh, tokens finished up, I'm kind of behind on the tokens. And maybe maybe you guys can agree with me here, but I really feel like the um, the TOT swaps too, it's tough to get these tokens. They're making it hard. You have to do um, so many games. You know, you really have to put in an effort. It's not just all SBCs. I think that we will maybe get another token through SBCs today. We've only had like two, one or two tokens. We've got Tots Challenge 3, which gives a token. And this expires in a couple of days. And then Tots Challenge 4 didn't even give out a token. So that's, I guess, a little bit confusing. But I don't know uh, what they're kind of doing with that. I wish they would give out the tokens a little bit easier. I think they just know that people are really trying to grind for 22. But it does not make me motivated to want to try to get 22 tokens for that 1 of 5 player pick if... Um, this is the way that it's looking and it's going to be a lot of gameplay grind. It's going to be a little bit too much work for me, in my opinion, to go ahead and do that. So that's just kind of what's going on in the game right now. I mean, you guys did see 98 total blues packed. I think I packed, not even kidding, guys. I think I packed like 15 tots yesterday. Uh, maybe it was even more than that. I thought I started the day with like 82 or 83. I don't even remember. But maybe it was 13 tots. Maybe we started with 85. So we're up to 98. It was crazy. Of course, Paqueta was the best one. Oh, a couple other things of note. Um, the card that I just moved away from, the Romero Showdown. So yesterday, Argentina beat Italy. So this Cuti Romero card is going to go up to a 93 rated item. Of course, with Rodrigo, you guys remember we had to wait like a day or two. So we should see an upgraded Romero card here pretty soon. He's really, really good in game. I'm excited for this upgrade. Very happy that Argentina won. So that's dope. And then also as a part of that game yesterday, EA tweeted out this picture right here. A brilliant performance in the finalissima. Leo Messi's brace of assist, win the title and player the match. Grab his man of the match special item 
in-game Friday. So they got this picture and they actually, they photoshopped pretty poorly if you zoom in. They photoshopped pretty poorly a 95 rated Messi card that they're gonna put in the game. It's a man of the match item. I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool that they're going to give Messi a card. It's going to update his ones to watch. So if you have Messi OTW, he is up right now. Uh, I think he's up like 100K. Yeah, he's a million coins. And before all this happened yesterday, actually, he's up way more than that. He was like 800,000 coins, and then he went to 890, 840, and, and now he's up to a million. So I would probably sell this in the hype. I mean, the fact that they're giving a 95 rated card for this kind of sucks. I wish they would give him... You know, maybe like maybe like a 96 at least. I mean, EA, there's a 97 rated Messi that's out right now in team this season. But it is what it is. That's going to make his ones to watch go up uh, plus one. Uh, and then he's going to have this man of the match card in packs this weekend. So cool idea uh, because, they're you know, it's like on the pitch. They're, they're giving them this card, which is dope. Don't know why they haven't put a PSG logo in there. But I think it's just because it was an Argentina uh, win. So they wanted to, you know, make sure that was the focus of the card. So we'll see this card coming out on Friday. As they said, it would be in packs during Serie A team of the season, uh, which is a bit interesting, I guess. But yeah, that's kind of all the news from yesterday, guys. If I'm being honest, gold rares, if you're doing upgrade packs, continue to be super expensive. Like I was paying 1.4K, 1.5K for some of the center backs. So if you've held on to your gold rares, like today, tomorrow is your prime time to sell these guys because people are going to do last minute upgrade packs today because still the weight is so good. Like it's so good to do upgrade packs because the weight is incredible. You're getting so much fodder. I think I'm going to start on Car Carlos Alberto um, because I've done both of the icon moments upgrades. I've gotten Seedorf and Birdcamp, which both were trolls with a Dutch flag. And I'm just doing so many SBCs right now with the coins that I'm putting in and with the fodder that I'm getting back from these packs and from the 81 plus player picks, which also for today might be a last chance to stack and stock some 81 plus player picks if you want to for Serie A team of the season or for ultimate tots a couple weeks down the line. If you don't plan to do much on the game this next week for Serie A, maybe stacking some 81 plus player picks could be a play for you as we head towards Ultimate Tots in a couple weeks. And we're gonna start talking about Ultimate Tots and how it's gonna affect the market probably pretty soon as well this weekend, because I think a lot of people are gonna look over Serie A Tots. No disrespect to that, of course, but Ultimate Tots is gonna be big for a lot of prices on this game and there's gonna be a lot of buildup to it. So we'll talk about that some more on this weekend. So be looking out for that. But yeah, yeah, guys, that's the video for today, to be completely honest. A little bit of an investment going on with the noon Menge for me. You have a couple Dybala's have a couple Neymars that I bought. But really, other than that, I'm just hitting the upgrade packs, packing blues, doing SBCs, getting objectives done, and uh, waiting for the next League of Tots. And hopefully EA bring us some W surprises, and hopefully they release that Twitch Prime pack very soon. So if you enjoyed the video today, hit the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.